Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the density. Density is one of the most important concepts in the chemistry, and we need to learn about the chemistry by more details. The reason I'm going to talk about the density by details because for the rest of the term, for introductory and general chemistry courses, we need to use the density as one of the conversion factors. So it would be very helpful we know the meaning of the density by enough details. First, what is the density? We define the density as the relationship between mass and volume of object. The relationship between mass and volume of object. So let me write mass and volume of any object. One thing I may ask you to pay attention, we use two terms here, mass and volume, and we need to find relationship between these two. So I'm going to write that density is going to be related to mass and volume by this equation mass over volume. So if I divide mass by volume, I may call that the density. To formulate that, I may use D to denote density. M represents mass and V represents volume. So this is the equation for the density. And I may ask you to memorize that one. Density has this equation, mass over volume. One thing I may ask you to pay attention Whenever we say mass over volume, we are talking about only one object. Only one object it has this relationship, mass over volume. When we are going to know what is the unit for the density, SI unit for mass is kilograms and for volume is liter. So, Density has this SI unit, kilogram per liter. But when we work in the lab, we never use like this one because we prefer to use a small amount of any substances and for doing the experiments, we don't need to have too much of any objects. So that is why we use a smaller unit for the mass. So we don't use the kilogram and we prefer to use gram. So in the lab, mostly we use this unit, grams for mass. And for volume, a smaller unit for volume is ml. So I'm going to change that one. I may say the density in the lab, when you work in your lab, so density in general reported gram per ml gram per ml. So this is the unit for the density, gram per ml. One thing specifically for the uh, students, they are going to work in the uh, allied health major nursing students. ML, we have one equivalency for ML and we call that centimeter cube or CC. So to remind you, this one, I may say 1 ml, it's same as 1 cubic centimeter or 1 cc. So, sorry, let me write it like this, 1 cc. So, cubic centimeter. So, we call that cc. 1 cc or 1 ml, both are same. So another unit, I may write it here, gram per cc or cubic centimeter. So these two units in general use in the chemistry lab when we report the density. And last thing I'm going to remind you regarding the density. Whenever you talk about the density, density is a physical property. Is a physical property. It means if you measure the density, you don't destroy it. You don't 
make a new substance when you measure the density. So density can be easily measured in the chemistry labs. So one thing I'm going to express that one here before finishing this video. When we say the density, we need to know that density of water, density of water is 1.00 gram per ml. 1.00 gram per ml. What does that mean? It means 1.00 gram water. It has 1 ml. It occupies 1 ml. Guys, whenever we say 1.00 gram per ml, it means per 1 ml. So for water, at one specific temperature, we have 1.00 grams per ml. I ask you to memorize the density of water because it's going to use as a reference. So density of water is 1.00 gram per ml. One thing I may ask you to pay attention. So whenever we say 1.00 gram or 1 ml for, for water, it would be same. So if I say, for example, 25.00 gram water, or I may say 25, ml water both are same both are same because for water is 1.00 gram per ml if we change temperature colder or warmer it's going to slightly change the density of water for example we are going to have 0.9998 or we are going to have point we are going to have 1.0 Zero 01. So there is very small changes for the density. That is why we prefer to consider density of water as one. If we assume that we have another object like this object, density of object is 0 0.73 gram per ml. What does that mean? It means 0 0.73. 0.73 grams is equal to 1 ml, is 1 ml. The reason I ask you to learn to write something like this for any object because I told you density is a conversion factor. Density acts like a conversion factor. Why it acts like a conversion factor? Look at this unit, is gram, unit for mass. Look at this one, ml, unit for volume, two different units. So density is going to convert one unit to another one or vice versa. That is why density is important for us. In this video, I just wanted to show you very basic information regarding the density. And by the next video, I'm going to explain for you how it works when we work in the chemistry lab. Thank you for watching this short video.